What is up guys? Welcome back for another episode of OLT. Today we are going to be using a team that I've used before in the past. It's been revamped a little bit thanks to our buddy Jar. Uh, as you can see here, this slot, uh, Mungus, used to actually be a Breloom. And uh, he suggested that the team had no Keldeo switch-ins before, uh, which was pretty true because if Breloom gets burned, it's pretty much useless. So he popped on an Amoongus instead. It pretty much has uh, very similar coverage. Uh, my set is a little bit different than his, actually. I decided to run Spore, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, and Stun Spore. Stun Spore really supporting Specs, Keldeo, and even slower threats like Scizor and Heatran. They can become very, very useful in the late game if you paralyze. They're faster Pokemon such as uh, Tornadus T, which can usually easily switch in on Amoongus, and other stuff like that. Uh, they think they sleep fodder, and then they're pretty much free to switch into their Torn T, and they get it paralyzed. So it's really cool. Very nice team. Uh, and uh, I've been using it lately on the ladder and it's been working out pretty well. So let's get a game. Let's see uh, what we can do with it. And uh, yeah, guys, I uh, just wanted to talk about uh, the NBA right now because we um, we didn't have an upload over the weekend for the NBA last weekend. This should be going up on Friday. But uh, we were supposed to have a team builder and battle. But uh, our opponent is lives in India. He is eight hours away. It's extremely difficult to schedule. We might just end up postponing our game till the end of the season. You guys will be getting an NBA game this weekend. I promise you that. Uh, also, we're working on a uh, an off season for the UPA, which is really cool. So uh, you guys are going to be excited for that. It's uh, it's looking to be a very promising series uh, for the UPA. We're going to be back at it really, really soon. So uh, here we have a Charizard Y with Bantar and uh, Sandrush Excadrill. Pretty standard team. Got a Clef, which is the most annoying Pokemon in OU. Uh, Tangrowth and uh, Keldeo shouldn't be too bad. Scizor has a decent matchup against the majority of my opponent's team. A U turns for super effective damage on two, bullet punches on, on another one, and just gains me a lot of momentum. So uh, in, this, in this matchup, I kind of really want to lead with Keldeo. Uh, I want to get as much damage off on the uh, Tangrowth as possible, but I do feel like his Stealth Rocker would more than likely be his Clefable, so I want to put pressure on that thing early. Uh, so I'm actually going to lead with Amoongus here, as I don't expect uh, Charizard to lead off. We get the perfect lead matchup against Keldeo. Uh, that means that something is going to sleep for free at this point, and it is going to be... Well, no, not for free. He does have a Grass type. Sorry about that. Uh, I could go for Sludge Bomb right here, but I think that Stun Spore is my better play, as I feel like he would switch, and he does go into Charizard, so that's amazing. We're able to paralyze that thing, basically nuking it. Uh, we're going to go out to Heatran now and get up our rocks. I don't know if he would double again. He is just going to Mega Evolve. Let's see if he goes for the Focus Blast. He does go for the Fire Blast, so that's awesome for us. We are going to get up our Stealth Rocks right here. His only form of uh, removal would be that Excadrill, which, in theory, we should outspeed, because it hits 275 when it's adamant, so uh, that's very nice. He doesn't bring it in. He brings in the Keldeo instead. That's perfectly fine we are in the sun guys we are in the sun so we take absolutely nothing from this scald he does get the burn a little unfortunate uh he could go back into his charizard which is why i'm really tempted to just sludge bomb and i think that's exactly what i'm going to do uh, as he does go into tangrowth instead that's awesome we're going to get a lot of damage off on that thing that's going to be an easy two hit ko i'm assuming he's going to want to knock off an item at this point uh so i'm really tempted to just go into tran and fire off a uh, magma storm to trap something that could be my play. I could also just go into Scizor, lose its leftovers. It's not a huge deal. Um, I don't want to get caught by an HP fire, though. That's my only issue. I think that just going for... Do we outspeed this? No, never. Um, I think going to Scizor is the correct play. As my opponent actually chooses to go out into Clefable, so that works out for us. Uh, I can just go for the Bullet Punch right here. Pretty much no drawback play. Get off a nice 49% on this thing. Goes for a Flamethrower. It's not able to knock us out, but once again, he does get the burn, unfortunately. He's going to be able to heal off this damage, so what I want to do is actually take advantage of that and go straight into Heatran without U-turning. Uh, as he does go for Stealth Rocks, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll be able to Magma Storm here, catch something on the switch. If it's Titar, that's awesome. It's trapped in here with us. He does leave in his Clefable. That's not bad. He goes for the uh, Soft Boil. This thing is not trapped, however, uh, because of the Magic Guard. So I'm just going to go for a Taunt on this turn, uh, which I feel is perfectly fine. As he does go for the Soft Boil, trying to get it off again. Uh, I'm assuming his switch would be Keldeo. I don't mind trapping that either. Just going to go for Magma Storm, weaken this. He does stay in, goes for Moon Blast that does no damage. He does get the special attack drop, however. Uh, so we will not be able to... We might be able to still 2-hit KO it, though. Uh, do land another Magma Storm. We do not 2-hit KO this thing. Uh, and his... Uh, his taunt ends, which means I have to taunt this thing again. I'm gonna try to keep it low, keep it in range of Thunderbolt and Earthquake and Scald, pretty much everything on my team. He does go for another Moonblast, that's perfectly fine. I think I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to get in my Manectric, so I'm gonna sack off Scizor here. He might just switch, 
Uh, he is freed from the magma storm, so he's probably going to switch out at this point. So we are going to get switch initiative, which is amazing because now my Keldeo comes in. And with the range we left his Clefable at, nothing comes in on a secret sword. So that's really, really nice. And his Tangrowth comes in at 28, so this is pretty much a free kill for us. Goodbye Tangrowth, easily O-code from that range. And uh, now he could go into Clefable. I'm not sure if it would kill, actually. Let's calc that up uh, from a Specs Keldeo. I don't think it does. Let's see, Keldeo, all-out attacker. Secret Sword is doing actually 27 to 32. Uh, it's not enough because he doesn't get hit by rocks, but that's not a huge deal. Uh, he's just going to uh, heal off the damage here, which isn't, a, a, once again, a big deal. Uh, what I actually want to do is I want to put this thing to sleep as soon as possible, because a sleeping Clefable isn't too much of a threat. He does go for the soft-boiled, uh, and if he switches on to Charizard, he pretty, pretty much has to predict me every time because he's paralyzed, so he can't outspeed Tran. Uh, I'm just going to go for Spore right here. He does go for the Flamethrower, does absolutely nothing. We're going to get the Spore on this Clefable, and we're going to fire off a Sludge Bomb because at this point... Uh, actually, I might want to switch out because his T-Tar might come in. That may be an option for him. Um trying to think what the best play here is I kind of still need this for his Keldeo but at the same time I think sludge bombing is just the play get off as much damage on this clef as possible and uh, now I feel like I have to switch out I have to conserve this thing's health uh, I'm gonna go into Keldeo here as he does pull a switch into T-Tar that's amazing once again we two hit KO the clefable actually not from that range not at the range it's at um no we definitely do not so I think I have to fire off a Hydro Pump here. I'm pretty sure it kills Bandit Tyranitar from that range. Uh, if we go to the T-Tar, Choice Band, it is in the sand. Hydro Pump should do, yeah. Scald is even killing, so I could just fire off a Scald here pretty safely. Uh, as my opponent is actually Scarfed and not Banded, which is an interesting option. Uh, gonna be able to get rid of the T-Tar right here, which means Sand is going to end in three turns. We still have Orlando fully healthy, so we can just go out into that. He is on a Balloon, so uh, that's gonna be a little bit frustrating for Lando to deal with. I'm gonna have to U-turn out on him. He might just go for the Rapid Spin right here. He hasn't seen what Lando said I am yet, uh, but he doesn't care. Uh, and his Charizard is gonna come in pretty healthy. He can just go for an Iron Head on this turn. He will outspeed me with the Sand up. I just want to U-turn to pop this thing's balloon, I think is my best play. And then I want to bait him into uh, into Earthquaking. He is going to switch out, though, into his Keldeo, which is perfectly fine. I want to find out what kind of Keldeo this is. Actually, we, we got hit by it before with Amoongus. How much damage did that Skull do in the sun? I think it did like 13, right? Uh, let's back it up. 13.5. So let's find out. This is the spec set versus Amoongus, the standard OU set. Uh, Scald in the sun would be doing that range so it is uh it is in fact the uh spec set which means our manectric outspeeds it so at this point manectric pretty much just wins i uh, just need to wait until sand is gone which is in a turn from now so i'm just gonna go for a giga drain here he goes to the icy wind and knocks us out uh that's perfectly fine he is still faster than our manectric at the moment uh so what i need to do is actually get heatran in here first and uh, he's locked into icy wind which means something pretty much dies at this point uh, also his excadrill uh, I can calc from the minus one rapid spin damage. Where is it? It's all the way at the bottom, right? Uh, rapid spin did 7% to regular Lando at minus one. So I want to see if he's uh, adamant or not. Uh, OU, it's probably like a hard calc to figure out, but OU Choice Scarf versus Excadrill. Sandrush Sweeper, which should be adamant in theory. Uh, let's give it rapid spin. Rapid spin at minus one does seven to nine. Whereas if he's jolly, I think it does a lot less. Uh, does 6 to 8, so uh, I don't think he can ever do that percentage to us. No, he's 6.9. So yeah, actually, he might be. Uh, he might have gotten a low roll there. Uh, I'm just going to go for Magma Storm on this turn. Uh, as he does bring in his Excadrill, which is amazing. Uh, not amazing because we miss, but uh, I really don't want to play around with this thing. I think I'd much rather just go into Lando. I don't want to risk him being Jolly. And I think he is from the damage, doing 6.8. Yeah, Adamant always does more, actually. So he's definitely... Uh, He's definitely the uh, Jolly set. He actually pulls a nice double into his Keldeo, which means I'm going to have to sack something here. Um, and I think that something is going to have to be Heatran because... No, hold on. This is a tough turn. Well, we know he's not Scarfed, right? How much damage do we do to him with Lando? Lando T to Keldeo. All-out attacker. Earthquake does 59 to 70. U-turn does... U-turn puts him in range of an EQ or almost with decent rolls. Uh, let's see. 
I think I have to go for the U-turn into my own Keldeo and then just EQ is probably the play. It's difficult. I need to get my Manectric Mega Evolved at some point. I think it's going to be against the, the Charizard when it comes in. I'm going to go for U-turn. We can this thing get a nice 16% roll right there. That does uh, put him in range of even a low roll uh, EQ at this point. So I'm going to sack off my own Keldeo. Uh, take a Skull. That's fine. We're going to go back into Lando at this point. And we are just going to fire off. Uh, actually, you know what I want to do? I want to get rid of this thing's specs. I'm going to go for a knockoff because if he does switch into Driller, he might he might be predicting me to just have put him in range of EQ and then just go into Excadrill. Uh, as he actually chooses to go Charizard, that's fine too uh, because now we get off a knockoff. I'm just going for another knockoff because uh, I want to be able to make sure that he doesn't double into Keldeo. Uh, if he does though, that's pretty good. He does go into Drill, that's awesome. We're going to go for another knockoff right here, get rid of its Balloon. And I don't really want to switch out on this thing. Uh, I think I'm just going to go actually yeah for the knockoff again gonna do a lot of damage to that thing He's gonna go for an iron head. It's not gonna be able to take us out. He puts us in range of rocks Which is actually why I want to switch into I think Manectric here Yeah, or because I don't want to outspeed him. I want this thing to knock something out Basically, I'm gonna go into Heatran and uh, I'm gonna let him knock me out. I'm just gonna go for stealth rocks at this point. I'm 100% I'm sure he's faster than me. Oh, he's not. Okay. That's fine. That's perfect. That's great. That means we win. All right, Manectric, here we go. <laughs> Flamethrower it up. Uh, Clefable should die to two. And I'm pretty sure it switched out the turn after we went for Spore, right? Flamethrower, Spore, Clefable is fast. Okay, no, no, no. He killed off one turn of sleep and then he withdrew. All right, so if he gets an immediate wake, he can still win. Um, it's going to be hard for him though. Let's see. We go for the flamethrower. Very nice. We kept the sack of Lando, so that's cool. He pretty much has to go into Fable here and hope he gets a first turn wake. Uh, and I have to hope he doesn't. <laughs> so we go for the Thunderbolt. Uh, he does not wake up. He stays asleep, and that is going to be good game because we know that the Keldeo is Specs. It did not outspeed our, uh, our Lando, and that's it. All right, so uh, that's a pretty good first win right there. What's our uh, what's our ranking actually? I think we have pretty good ELO right now. 1755, not bad. I need to be f higher than that. This guy's still on week three because he got knocked out pretty early, <laughs> or he made it. I don't know. I don't remember seeing his name though in the uh, in the players that had made it. I like uh, Gastrodon East. It's a shame they don't have a, uh, a sprite for it. So my best lead once again is actually uh, Amoongus right here. He's like, good luck, have fun, my dude. Please hacks me or something. What? Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> have fun, man. Why is he asking me to hack him? I don't understand. I'm on too much of a streak. My ego is getting too. <laughs> Am I playing Jar? <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna axe him. I'm just gonna straight up win. How about that? All right, we get the lead matchup, right? That's nice uh, I'm gonna go for a stun spore because nothing on his team resisted and if we get a pair off, that's nice Get one on the Skarmory. That's always cool uh, I'm just gonna double in Heatran here because he doesn't have a really like good double that punishes me uh, He's just gonna go for spikes um, His hazard removal is his Skarmory, so not too great I'm just gonna go for rocks right here as he is he's gonna pull a switch into Keldeo. That's absolutely fine. Uh, gonna go back into Amoongus on this turn. Once again, none of his doubles can really punish me too hard. He goes for Scald. That looks like Scarf damage. He does get the, per the burn on turn one. Uh, and I'm actually going to double right here, probably into my own Keldeo to put some pressure on him. He does have a Gastrodon though, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I might just go for Spore actually. Uh, as he does go out into Clefable, that's cool. We're gonna be able to get off a Sludge Bomb on this thing if I choose to. I might actually just switch out on this turn, predicting his uh, Venusaur to want to come in. That might be the play. Uh, I'm really thinking hard about this one. How did you score? <laughs> He's like, how did you score? Uh, was my logical play not uh, not Venusaur or Skarm? Yep, that's why I did it. <laughs> oh man! All right, so uh, we're gonna go. I think Keldeo is pretty safe here. As he goes to Skarm, that's awesome. Uh, and I expect his switch to be uh, Gastron East. I'm actually running Hidden Power Dark on here because I was I like kept going up against this team, uh, this stall team, like a Shedinja uh, Seismitoad stall that I couldn't deal with. Uh, so I put a Hidden Power Dark on here so I'd be able to hit the Shedinja. 
<laughs> and Hidden Power Dark pretty much hits all the same things that Hidden Power Bug was hitting. So, I mean, it just, uh, it just worked out, you know? I'm gonna go for Secret Sword right here because I expect, uh, not this, not this. I was expecting the Gastrodon. That's, uh, that's a little unfortunate. Uh, but it's fine. We do have a pretty good answer to this in Scizor. If he has the HP Fire, I'll scout for it by going into, uh, Heatran on the following turn. He does go for Synth. That's fine. Uh, we shouldn't outspeed this, so I'm just gonna go straight into Heatran here. As he is going to hit us up with the HP Fire, give us the Flash Fire. Very nice. Great scout there. Gonna go for the Magma Storm. I don't expect him to have EQ. This is gonna do a lot if it lands. Uh, as it does, it does 46%. That's insane. Uh, we also see that he's a Leftovers variant, which means I don't think that he can knock us out with any one move. So I may just attack him here. I do lose my Prime answer to Skarmory. I still have Manectric in the back, though. Uh, if we go to the Offensive Stallbreaker set, and we take away this thing's Choice Specs, uh, then no move he has. Even Secret Sword does not knock me out. So I think I might just go for the uh, Magma Storm again. Uh, he does go for Secret Sword. This is going to do a lot, but we are going to land the second Magma Storm and knock out his Keldeo. Very big threat right there. Very nice. <laughs> yes, I hit too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, he does go into Titar. I do want to save this, potentially. Uh, but I don't have a very good switch into this. Other than Scizor. I think Scizor is my play. All right, that's fine. Uh, I did expect him to Pursuit right there. Uh, but now he does not have a very good answer to Lando coming in, actually. Lando is pretty good right here, as I may just knock off the Skarmory's item, uh, the incoming Skarmory, but I think U-turn is the safest play, uh, just because the Clef can come in, I want some initiative on that, that's not bad. Gonna go into Keldeo here, and uh, I may just Hydro Pump on this turn, even though he still has a Gastrodon. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pump here. Uh, that is gonna do 78% to this Clefable, which is very nice, it's weakened now, uh, and we are going to... You are. <laughs> He's like, okay, dude, please, I want to get uh, loose to hacks. Not me getting mad at your plays being bad. <laughs> I'm hacksing you. I'm hitting everything. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're going to double into Scizor right here. Because I expect him to go into Gastrodon at this point. Yep. Alright, cool. Not that this handles Gastrodon too well, but uh, I have an Amoongus in the back, which does. I just wanted some U-turn initiative just to get off some damage. We see that this thing is possibly not physically defensive because that U-turn did a lot. Uh, and he's going to go for a Scald right here. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I need this thing weakened, so I don't mind if he goes into Skarmory necessarily. Uh, I will just go for a Giga Drain here. Uh, as he does go into Venusaur, that is his best play. Uh, don't want to go Scizor. Don't want to go Lando. Don't want to go anything. Heatran was my prime wall to this. Maybe I shouldn't have let it go down to Keldeo. I did have an answer in Amoongus. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Stun Spore here, honestly, as he does stay in. I'm gonna try to paralyze this thing as I... Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work on it. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, didn't know that didn't work. Uh, that's a uh, lesson learned right there. I'm gonna go out into Lando at this point, as he goes for probably another uh, Drain. No, he goes for HP Fire. Very nice. Okay, cool. So we're able to have that happen, and uh, now I just want to Quake, honestly. I know he has a Skarmory in the back, but he's probably just gonna Synth, which is what I wanted. And uh, now I'm going to go Manectric on what I expect to be a switch into Skarmory. Maybe that's not the best play. Hold on. Let me think about this for a second. Uh, so he has a Sleeping Clefable, a Paralyzed Skarmory, a probably Banded Titar in the back, uh, or Scarfed. I mean, it's more than likely choice if it's Rocking Pursuit. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to Quake again. I expect him to just Giga Drain on this turn. Yep. I did a lot. All right. <laughs> That's scary. Uh, we'll go for another Quake here. We'll weaken this thing. I really need this thing weaker as he goes for another Synth. I expect him to switch out on this turn because he does not want this weakened, I would assume, because Keldeo will destroy it. Uh, Keldeo will just run shop through his team after that. So um, I really want to pull the double. Uh, no, let's just go for EQ. All right. I knew it was coming in. I knew it. <laughs> There's nothing I could do about it, though. Um... Let's go Manectric. I want to get that thing in as soon as possible. And I don't mind if he doubles into his Gastrodon. It's not a big deal. We'll just go into Amoongus pretty much every time. I have to waste all of uh, Venusaur's Synthesis, which we're doing a pretty good job at. Uh, he's already used, I believe, three, uh, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see when it comes back in, but I'm pretty sure. I would love to have spikes on this team right about now, as my opponent does go for spikes. And uh, we will just go for a flamethrower here because it does get off damage on the Gastrodon. Not too much because it's probably specially defensive, but uh, damage nonetheless. As uh, we do get off some uh, zero damage right there. 
All right, I'm going Scizor. Reason being is because I can take this thing's Earthquake if it decides to go for that. I can also roost off this damage from the spikes. And I can defog them away if I choose to. I know my Stealth Rocker is gone. But realistically, I don't really need Stealth Rocks against this team. Except against maybe Venusaur. But, like, these spikes are really hindering me. Yeah, so I'm just going to defog all this away. He might just play for the burn. That might be his best play. He has, he's got a very solid team. I can't take anything, anything away from him. He's got a very, very solid team. As it just goes for Scald, does it get the burn? Nope. Alright, uh, I'm going to U-turn out now. And we're going to go into something that's already burned and doesn't risk getting burned. There we go, nice and Scald. He pretty much has to switch out here. Uh, I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb on this turn. Uh, pretty much catching his Venusaur. Doing a nice 36% with a crit, that's awesome. Uh, that forces him to Synthesis again, which is even better. Uh, I'm just going to go Lando on this turn. I don't expect him to Giga Drain. I expect him, if anything, to Synth. Yep. And now we're going to go for the U-turn as he goes into his Skarmory. Is he Rocky Helmet? I assume he is. No? Okay. Cool. Uh, and now we can just go into Kelio. And I think I just want to fire off a Secret Sword. Again, I'm just trying to waste all the Venusaur's... Um, all the Venusaur Synthesis. All right, he lets his Gastrodon take an enormous hit right there, which is really, really nice. I'm going for Sword again because, again, I just want to get this Venusaur low to the point where it's wasting its moves. And I'm going to go into... I am getting my team very, very weakened at this point, which is a little unfortunate. He's going to go for a Giga Drain. It's not going to do much at all. And um, Amoongus is slower than Gastrodon, but it can't take Giga Drain anyway, so I'm not too worried. Uh, I think I'm just going to throw off another Sludge Bomb at this point. He does go for HP Fire. Uh, we're going to go for another Sludge right here. I expect him to Synth on this turn. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, go into Manectric. I don't see a Giga Drain coming on this turn. He goes for another HP Fire. Actually gets a crit on my Manectric, which is a little unfortunate. It's definitely not in range of Flamethrower at all. However, I may just go for it because he's almost guaranteed the Synthesis. And I don't want to like just randomly go back into uh, to Amoongus on this turn. Uh, I'm going to Volt Switch this time. Does he even have Sludge Bomb? He might not. Uh, we're going to go Amoongus as he goes for the Giga Drain. That's fine. Uh, and do I pull another double? No, nah, I'm in range of an HP Fire. This is bad. He's down to three synths, though. All right. We're going into... Damn, everything kills. That's what sucks. All right, let's go Keldeo. Because I don't think he Giga Drains here. He goes for an HP Fire. That's absolutely fine. And now we're going to go for... Uh, I think I think I might just Hydro, honestly. Just put this thing in range of U-Turn. Because doesn't Manectric win now? Well, not if he's Scarf... Well, no, not Scarf Tar. Scarf Tar doesn't beat me. Uh, Bantar beats Scizor, though. I think I'm just going to Hydro here. Yeah, just get off some good damage on this. Uh, he goes for the Giga Drain. Uh, gets himself back up to 50%. That's more than I expected him to get, honestly. As I can just go for a U-turn now. I can start uh, Volt turning on his team. Because I think uh, Gastronon might actually be in range of a Hidden Power Ice. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for a U-turn. As he does go into the Skarmory. That's perfectly fine. Going to go into main here. Uh, we're going to click... Uh, Flamethrower again ensures that I hit the Gastron, which is nice. So I'm just going to go for Flamethrower here. He does pull the switch out into Titar, though. That's a good play. That's a very nice play. There's nothing I can do about that. We do get the para. Uh, we don't get the full para, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, I pretty much lose to Skarmory at this point because there's nothing I can do to it. Uh, I'm just going to go Lando. Uh, U-turn out here. I might just go straight Skarm. Yep. And, uh, like, literally, my two remaining Mons can do absolutely nothing to it. He's just going to set up spikes again and pretty much just win. Uh, Roost, I guess. I don't have enough bullet punches to bring this thing down either. Uh, there's the spike. Gonna defog it away. That's absolutely fine. If you want to waste all your spikes, that's fine by me. Just gonna bullet punch you here. There's nothing I can do. He just goes for another layer. That's cool. Gonna go for another bullet here. You can go for your third layer. I'm only gonna defog when you... Uh, okay, that's fine. Is his only attacking move Brave Bird? I guess it would be, right? Just gonna defog here. Uh, he's down to 27 spikes, so... <laughs> We can just play, keep playing this game, honestly. He can't switch into anything on my Bullet Punch, because I think it might actually 2-hit KO his uh, Venusaur. Actually gets our Amoongus there, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to switch right back out into Scizor. And uh, eventually he's going to... Okay, he's going to switch out into Venusaur on that turn. I don't know if this thing's HP Fire actually takes me out. 
because we're pretty defensive. I don't know why I'm still playing this game, to be honest with you guys. Like, this is only the second game. We're 25 minutes in. And uh, bulky sword stance. No. Uh, OU defog. There it is. Versus Venusaur. Uh, Mega Venusaur OU defensive. Uh, HP fire does do 82 to 102. So that's definitely taking us out. Um, and I can't do anything to this thing, so I'm just going to go for a bullet punch. As he does go for the HP fire, I do not have a switch, obviously. Just going to go Lando, and uh, we're just going to click knock off at this point. I'm going to attempt to get Skarmory's item off, not that it matters. Well, at least now it doesn't have any uh, um, passive recovery, which is nice. I'm going to go into Amoongus, because if anything is my hope at winning, it is Lando. He's going to go for a Brave Bird. It's not going to knock me out, which is nice. Uh, and he is paralyzed, so maybe I play off the full para and switch back into Lando. Uh, as he does get full para okay. Alright, wait a minute. Let's go for edge. Let's see. We, we get the crit. Did we get the full para again? No, he goes for a roost, okay. Can we get another crit? No, we get a miss. <laughs> he does get full para again, that's crazy. Do 23 on that one, he is just gonna roost, that's fine. Uh, just gonna go for another edge and miss. He should just Brave Bird here. Uh, he gets para again. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yo, that's why T-Wave is and, and Stun Spore are ridiculous. Like, it's actually stupid. Anyway, that's uh, that's gonna be GG. Yeah, uh, his team is very good. Uh, I might ask him for it later. LT3 Fox. Let's keep that in mind. That's forfeit. That's, uh, that's a good game. Uh, I appreciate uh, his time and effort into that team. So this guy just gets wrecked by Scizor, which is not even our Mega. Which is really funny. He has two fairies. He has uh, two weeks to... three weeks to bug type moves. Which is nice. Keldeo's HP Dark might actually come in handy here. Uh, <laughs> he does have switches in Clefable and stuff, but uh, have fun, man. All right, let's see. I think um, I actually think Scizor might be the best lead because it gets a good lead matchup against pretty much everything. I'm, uh, he's gonna lead with Deancey. I'm just gonna go for the U-turn on turn one because I expect him to protect, and I'm gonna go for a. He might expect me to be banded, so he might just attack here. I'm gonna go for the BP. Uh, as he does make a nice switch into Tangrowth, he is Rocky Helmet. Uh, that doesn't stop me from U-turning at all, though. I'm just going to go for that. And uh, he may just want to knock off an item here, which would be okay. I'm going to go into Tran. I don't ex I don't see him uh, HP firing, uh, or Earthquaking, actually, is what I meant. And I don't see him Earth. I don't see him uh, carrying Earthquake on this, because he could be Surf Latio, Skalt, Suicune, you know, Deancey gets Earth Power. So I'm actually just going to Magma Storm on this turn. His switch should be into Deancey or into Suicune. Uh, because it does cover pretty much everything I can do. And he, I do miss the Magma Storm. It's not a huge deal. I'm just going to go into Amoongus on this thing because it pretty much uh, covers everything. No problem, man. Uh, that would have been some nice damage and would have trapped this Deancey in, which is really nice. It would have prevented him from doubling. That's what I was going for, but it's not a big deal. Does go for the Earth Power, does 30%, pretty, pretty much nothing. Uh, we do get a Spadef drop, but it's not going to matter. Uh, I think I'm just going to throw out a Spore here, actually. Uh, he does just Earth Power again. Uh, I don't agree with that play because he would have lost a lot of health. Uh, I'm going to go out into Lando at this point. He might just Moonblast, honestly. Um, he hasn't revealed HP, he has Earth Power, so I don't expect him to have HP Fire. I'm gonna go into Scizor, as he goes for the Moon Blast, yep. That did 37%, but I'm gonna Roost here, because his Tangrowth is his switch, and now we're just going to U-turn again. Get off some more damage on this thing, we are taking damage in the process, but having Roost is really nice, he takes 35% from that. Just gonna go into Tran, let's see if he has the Juice, he does not have the Juice, he would have gone for it right there more than likely. And at this point, I think I'm just going to Earth Power because, uh, okay, so his Suicune comes in. That's interesting. Uh, at this point, I think I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks, honestly. I want these things up. I don't see him going into Deancey on this turn. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Got him up. Scald is not going to be able to knock us out, which is nice. Uh, I think I want to conserve this specifically for Tangrowth. Uh, and I can just go into Amoongus here. Eat up this Scald. Uh, as he does go for that, and, uh, get burned. Ouch. If Amoongus has gotten burned every time it's gotten scalded this live, right? Am I insane? Or is that what happened? Like, for real. I'm gonna go for Stun Spore here as he goes for Calm Mind. I want to be able to, uh, paralyze this thing. Uh, keep it from being faster than me, for one. Uh, and secondly, uh, want it to be paralyzed a couple of turns, because, you know, Paralysis is that good of a status. 
Uh, he could go into his Latios here. I'm not too concerned about Latios because I still have Scizor in the back. That Giga Drain did absolutely nothing. Uh, as he gets off a of Scald, gets a crit on that one. That's always fun. Uh, and now I'm going to go into Manectric here because I don't see him Scalding again. He does. All right. So uh, luckily he doesn't burn that one. And uh, he doesn't have a ground type on his team, so I'm just going to throw out a Volt Switch at this point. His Clef comes in. It is unaware, as we can see from the Stealth Rock damage, which is a really, really good piece of information right there. Uh, this means, once again, that Tran can come in. I can just go for a Magma Storm here. I don't mind if a Suicune comes back in, because that just means it's trapped in here. It can't switch out on me, and I get a pretty much free switch into whatever I want. Uh, Keldeo included. He does go for Protect. That's absolutely fine. We're just going to Magma Storm again if he wants to go into his Deancey. Once again, that means that that thing is trapped. And we have a counter, as we've seen, uh, in Scizor. He's going to stay in, allow his uh, Clefable to get trapped. Going to go for the... Um, going to go for the Moonblast, but it's not going to be able to take us out. And he should not Protect here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So we're able to eliminate the Clefable. Good thing I kept Tran around. I'm really glad. <laughs> about that is Suicune is also paralyzed which is nice that means I can get off a taunt on it uh, which is sick before it starts calm minding up uh, his play should in theory be in a Weavile or Latios here because that prevents me from switching out and like that's that's extremely important because this trend is a nuisance to him every time it comes in it magma storms something and traps it including Latios and stuff so like, if I come in on his slower Pokemon right now being Suicune and Tangrowth after a kill, then he's forced to, to get something trapped. So he does choose to go into Latios. Very nice play on my opponent's part. I don't really have a great response to this. So I, I think I'm just going to let it go down, honestly. And uh, how many defogs does one have? Uh, he may just defog here. It's kind of what I expect. And I also expect this thing to be HP Fire because he has no way of dealing with Scizor on his entire team outside of Suicune. Which is not a great way to deal with Scizor, especially not set up with Scizor. Um, I may just go into... Do I need Amoongus still? Amoongus is nice. I may just stay in uh, and go for Stealth Rocks repeatedly until he gets annoyed. Yeah, I'm just going to click Rocks. He's going to defog, yep. There we go. I'm going to go for those. He might expect me to spam rocks. So what I'm actually going to do is go into Scizor here. Uh, in case he wants to double to the Ancy. He does just defog. That's fine. Uh, I'm curious. If he's defog. Is he leftover? No, okay. He's not leftovers. Um, I'm really, really curious to see if this thing is HP fire. Because if it's not, it's like it's a pretty bad set. <laughs> in my opinion. I'm going to go into Lando just in case. Okay, so he's not. Good, good, good. Alright, this thing is Rocky Helmet. I'm getting rid of this thing right now. <laughs> I do not want to deal with this Rocky Helmet anymore. And he should just knock me off to catch the Heatran, in theory. I could always go into, um, into Manectric on this thing, so that's nice. Gonna get rid of the Rocky Helmet, which is nice. If he knocks me off, that's even better. He does get a crit, unfortunately. Uh, but that does mean that I can freely U-turn on this thing. And this thing's U-turn is about as powerful as Scizor's, as you guys can see. It's just a little less powerful because it's not Stab. And uh, now, um, now I think I go into, I want to go into Manectric to get the, the double Intimidate, basically, in case he goes for another physical move, which he does. That's awesome. He should expect a Flamethrower here, um, so I'm just going to Volt Switch out. He shouldn't want to lose this, and this gives me momentum, which is nice. I don't have anything faster than his Latios other than this Manectric at this point, so that's kind of bad. But at the same time, his Latios has revealed not to have HP Fire just from the way it's switched out. So so his way of, of dealing with Scizor is either Unaware Clef with Flamethrower and like Wish Protect, I guess, uh, or Suicune, which is now Paralyzed, which is really nice. Like I said before, Scizor does a ton of work this game. Like it handles Weavile and Deancey so well. If I can get rid of his Suicune with this Manectric or with anything else on my team, honestly, like Spec Secret Sword. Um, or repeated paras and just EQ it like a bunch of times. That'd be amazing. He does go into Weavile, actually, to let it take a huge hit. That's kind of crazy. I'm just going to go into Scizor, and because I don't want my leftovers gone, I'm just going to go for Bullet Punch. Even if he brings in Suicune, it's fine, because I can U-turn on it, because it's parried now, so we're faster. I'm not too worried about that. And I might just sack Tran to it. This is a long live, man. <laughs> we should be able to pull out this game, though. His team is is extremely Scizor weak. I don't understand what he's doing. Like, if his Suicune goes to sleep 
as somebody doubles into a threat that knocks it out, like Kieran Black, to it KOs it, I think, with, with Fusion Bolt, if I'm not mistaken. If somebody does that, like, it's, it's lights out. If they have a Mega Scizor and a strong physical electric attacker, it's, it's over. So I'm going to U-turn here. Uh, if he doesn't attack me, that means I get my rocks back up, which is nice. Or I go for Magma Storm. He does go for a Scald. Smart play. He still has his leftovers, but uh, I can go into Manectric now. And I think just fire off a Thunderbolt, honestly. Just get off damage on anything. His Latios comes in, that's fine. I'm just going to T-Bolt that thing. Para it, actually. <laughs> oh, that's bad for him, man. That's terrible. I'm going to Volt Switch. That means my, my Keldeo is faster now. And his, his fastest Pokemon just got paralyzed, essentially. Well, he still has a Deancey, but Deancey gets destroyed by prior priority. Uh, I'm going to go into Scizor because I expect a uh, Psy Shock or a Draco Meteor. Uh, as he does go for the Draco, that's fine. That only does 54. And we will be able to U-turn out here. Faster than the Latios, able to knock it out. And now... Uh, now I think I go Manectric. Yeah, because I don't lose anything by going into this. I get to Volt Switch out on his Deancey. I get to do a bunch of stuff. Gonna Volt Switch here. I expect a Moonblast, so I will just go into a Moongus. Uh, I might just Sludge Bomb after, honestly, because his Suicune's slower than me. His Tangrowth doesn't want to take it, because it was Rocky Helmet defensive. Yeah, so I'm just going to go into Moongus. If he Moonblasts me, it's going to do partially nothing. He does go for the Earth Power, though. That's a very good play. Um, I don't have a reason to... to let this die, necessarily. Because, like I said before... Uh, actually, Volt Switch did 55, right? What do I need Lando for? Absolutely nothing. I can let this die. All right, cool. Uh, Earth Power. Yep, that's not going to do anything. Now you're just going to go for Moon Blast. So I'm going to click Earthquake in case you switch. Yep, that's going to knock me out. And now Manectric comes in and clicks Thunderbolt. And we get a knockout here. Like, I mean, he can pull some intricate doubles, like, into Tangro to take the, the Thunderbolt and then switch out into... Uh, Suicune, but that's not that's not good for him. He's gonna go into Tangrowth. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a Volt Switch here. I don't want to mess around with this thing, and uh, we'll go straight into a Moongus on this. Um, uh, it's only shown knockoff. Like, what does it even have as a move set? <laughs> what does Rocky Helmet carry? Uh, gonna go into a Moongus here, as he's gonna go for a Sleep Powder. That's not gonna work on us, man. Sorry. And uh, we're going to just go for a Sludge Bomb at this point. He goes into Suicune. That's fine. That does a good amount of damage. Giga Drain will do even more. 36, as you can see. He may just go for a Rest right here. He goes for a Calm Mind instead. That's fine. Uh, he's pretty much forced to Rest here because he might get full Parad. So what I'm going to do is go Keldeo. I also resist the Scald, so that's not a problem. He does go for a Rest. We're going to go for the Spec Secret Sword. It's going to do 35. I don't know if that's a 3-hit KO. It doesn't look like it is. We get a crit, though. All right, so that pretty much seals the game. I'm sorry, man. That's, uh, sorry. GG. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very unfortunate for my opponent. But if that crit did 58, that means we probably got a low roll on the, uh, actually, no, that's probably about the same roll, is it? It's, uh, yeah. No, 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 this was a low roll. This was. Um, I got my fair share of hacks. Yeah, I guess he did with, like, the Scald Burn on the Amoongus and stuff. So, it's a good sport. Uh, very nice on my opponent's part if you didn't see what he wrote here. I'll show you guys. He said, nah, I got my fair share of hacks. So, very, uh, very great player. Uh, much, uh, much love to true love. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you enjoyed this very long episode with only three episodes, with only three, three episodes, three battles in it, be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.